Hello students, we are doing sets chapter 6, exercise 6D. Exercise 6D, page 61. In this exercise, we are going to study about the different types of sets. So question 1, state whether the given set is infinite or finite. What do we mean when we say an infinite set? An infinite set is one in which you have elements which cannot be counted, an unlimited number of elements. Such a set is called infinite. You cannot count. It will be endless. Whereas a finite set is just the opposite, where you can count the number of elements in that set and the number of elements is limited. So let's see in this question one, whichever set is infinite or finite. Question one under this, we have three, five, seven, and the dots there tell us that the numbers are going to go on endlessly. That means we cannot count, it's uncountable. So such a set is called an infinite set, where you cannot count, infinite set. Next one. One, two, three, and four. It's very clear that in this set, there are only four elements. You can count, there are only four elements. So this is a finite set, a finite set. Question three, you can see the dots here in the beginning, and then we have a few integers. That means before minus three, there are many numbers, many more, and the dots indicate that it goes on endlessly. Again, an unlimited number of elements that cannot be counted. Such a set is said to be an infinite set. So this is an infinite set. Question four, 20, 30, 40, 50. And then we have some dots. That means there are many more numbers there, but we also have the last number. So we have the first number and the last number. That means this set has a limited number of elements. So we call this a finite set. A finite set is one in which you can count the number of elements. It's unlimited. Whereas in an infinite set, it's unlimited. Question two, which of the following sets is empty? So what is an empty set? An empty set is a set which has no elements inside it. So no elements in a set is called an empty set. Another name for that is a null set. So let's look at our questions. Question one, set of counting numbers between five and six. We don't have any counting numbers between five and six. So we represent it like this. We have the curly brackets and inside that we have nothing telling us it is an empty set. So the first set, which is a set of counting numbers, is an empty set. So we write empty. Next one, set of odd numbers between 7 and 19. Let's write down all odd numbers between 7 and 19. 9, 11, 13, 15 and 17. So there are many elements. It's not an empty set. So this set is not empty. It has elements in it. Okay. Next question. Set of odd numbers between 7 and 9. Between 7 and 9, we have only 8. But that's not an odd number. So that means this, has, this set has no elements in it. It is an empty set. Next question set of even numbers that are not divisible by 2. So let's have a look at some even numbers. Even numbers, 2, 4, 6, I can write more. Now look at these even numbers. Is there any number here that is not divisible by 2? No, all even numbers are divisible by 2. So that set is empty. So we can write this set of even numbers that are not divisible by 2 is empty. The next question, as you can see, inside this set we have 0. 
That means there is one element inside that set, isn't it? So it's not an empty set. It is not empty, though you see zero inside, zero is still one element, isn't it? So this is not an empty set. Going on to the next question. Now here, state which pair of sets given below are equal sets and equivalent sets. What are equal and equivalent sets? Equal sets are when you have the same members in two sets. So here we are talking about two sets. And if we have the same members in both the sets, we call it equal sets. They are equal. Now, what are the sets that are equivalent? These are sets which have the same number of elements. The elements need not be the same, but the number should be the same. If I have five elements in one set, I must have five elements in the other set. Such sets are called equivalent sets. And if the elements are the same, they're called equal sets. Question one. Okay, let's look for the elements in both these sets. So I have three and three, five and five, seven and seven. So the elements are the same. So these are equal sets. These two sets are called equal sets. They're also equivalent because they have the same number of elements. There are three there and three here. Second one. Now, let's see if the elements are the same. I have eight in the first set. I don't have eight. I don't have, I have six, but I don't have many of the others. But let's count. Now, let's count the number of elements. So, I have one, two, three, four. So, there are four elements here. Let me count here. One, two, three, four. I have four elements here. Since the number of elements is the same, these two sets are called equivalent sets. Equivalent sets. Because the number of elements is the same. There are four elements in the first set and four elements in the second set. Third one. Let's see if the elements are the same. So I have seven in this set and I have seven there. I have two here and I have two there. I have one here and I have one there. Now I have the same elements in both the sets. Such sets are called equal sets. Such sets are called equal sets. Next one. I have different elements in both the sets. Can you see? But let me count and see the number of elements. One, two, three, four, five. I have five elements here. One, two, three, four, five. Five elements here. So since the number of elements is the same, they are called equivalent sets. Next question. State which of the following are finite and which are infinite. So we did this in the first question. A finite set will have a limited number of elements. Question 1. Set of integers. Now what are integers? These are the integers that I have written here. So uh, I have minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. But I have many more numbers after 3 and many more numbers before Minus 3, that means I cannot count. This is uncountable number of elements. Such a set is called an infinite set. When the number of elements is unlimited, it is an infinite set. The dots tell us that there are many more numbers. Question 2. Multiples of 5. Let's write down a few multiples of 5. 5, 10, 15, 20. And all these dots indicate that there are many more multiples of 5. That means this set has an unlimited number of elements. Therefore, this is an infinite set. So the set is infinite. Next one. Fractions between 1 and 2. Let's draw a number line and have the whole numbers 1 and 2. Now, between 1 and 2, we can have any number of fractions. So, that means this is an infinite set. So, question 3, fractions between 1 and 2 will be an infinite set.
Question 4. Number of people in India. The number of people in India can be counted. So this is a finite set. Set of trees in the world. There are many trees in the world and that will form an infinite set. You cannot count them. So infinite set. Set of leaves on a tree. Now at one particular point in time, at any point in time, if you count the number of tree, uh, leaves on a tree, it is possible to count. So that is a finite set. Finite set. Set of children in all the schools of Delhi can be counted. So that is also a finite set. Question 8, we have dots in the beginning, minus 4, minus 2 and all the other numbers. That means these are integers and before minus 4, you can have many numbers and it goes on endlessly. So that is an infinite set. Question 9, we have the beginning number minus 12, but let's see if we have the last number. After 6, we have many dots saying that we don't have the last number. It can go on endlessly. So this is also an infinite set. Question 10. Number of points in a line segment 4 centimeters long. The number of points in a line segment cannot be counted. So that is an infinite set. State whether or not the following sets are empty. So an empty set is one in which there is no element inside. Prime numbers divisible by 2. Now these are a few prime numbers 2, 3, 5, 7. In that there is one prime number 2 which is divisible by 2. That means this set will have one element in it. That means it is not empty. So this set is not empty. Negative natural numbers. Natural numbers are all positive and they start from 1 onwards. So we don't have negative natural numbers. So that set is empty. Women with height 5 meters, that's very tall. 5 meters is around 15 feet, so we don't have women with height 5 meters, so that is an empty set. There's nothing in that set. Integers less than 5. So these are all the integers less than 5, and then it goes on. Um, before minus 2, there are many more integers. So this is a set which has elements in it, so this is not an empty set. This is not empty. It has elements in it. Prime numbers between 17 and 23. There is one prime number, 19. So this is not an empty set. It has one element in it. Not empty. Set of even numbers not divisible by 2. All even numbers are divisible by 2. So can we have a set of even numbers not divisible by 2? These are all even numbers and none, all of these are divisible by 2. So this set is empty. It doesn't have anything in that. So this is an empty set. Set of multiples of 3 that are more than 9 but less than 15. What is there between 9 and 15 which is a multiple of 3? 12. 12 is there between 9 and 15. So there is one element in that set. So that set is not empty. Okay children, with that we come to the end of questions 1 to 5. In our next video, we will continue with exercise 60, questions 6 to 9. Thank you children.